absolutely extraordinary, beating the former world champions in three games. So after the men's doubles, we turn our attention to women's singles. And as far as the women's singles draw is concerned, Tai Su Ying, the two-time defending champion, is already through. And so is Akane Yamaguchi. So in the top half of the draw, it's a repeat of last year's final at the semi-final stage. As you can see in quarterfinals, there was uh, three players from China, two from Japan. And uh, we are about to find out with two former champions here at the All England whether it will be an all-Chinese affair in the semi-final tomorrow or will it be the Japanese former world champion. There she is, Nozomi Okuhara, won the title here at the All England Championships in 2016. Won the title on her 21st birthday. Her opponent, Li Shuerei, won the title here seven years ago. And she's making her second appearance at the All England Championships. She's missed the last couple of years because of a very severe knee injury, which she sustained when playing the bronze medal playoff match at the Rio Olympics against her opponent of today. She is 28 years of age, born in Chongqing in Sichuan province in China, currently 22 on the world ranking, and that means that she's the sixth ranked player from China, but she is a former world number one. In fact, she was world number one for a total of 123 weeks. So the former Olympic champion won the gold medal at the Olympics in London 2012. And here we can see she had a very tough first round match against Yeo Jia Min of Singapore. In the opening game, she was 12-20 down. Saved eight game points on a run of 10 straight points to close it out 22-20. Of course, that was the second game, not the first game. Uh, Chen Xiao Sin in the second round, who in the first round had beaten the two-time former finalist Rachinuk Intanon. So to Nozomi Okuhara, 23 years of age, uh, so she's going to be 24 next Wednesday. From Nagano, uh, which was the host city for the Winter Olympics in 1998. Currently number two on the world ranking and it's her ninth week in total at her career high of number two. So in the first round, she beat the 2017 World Junior Champion, Gregoria Mariska Tunjun, and then yesterday beat teammate, the left-handed Sayaka Takahashi. Actually saved a game point in the second game at 19.20, before winning it 23.21. So as you can see, this is the fourth meeting between the two players, and of the previous three, Li Shuerei has won two of them. But the last time they played was before Li Shuerei actually got injured in the Olympic Games. Now, that can't be right if in the... There was no bronze medal playoff, was there? She got injured in the semi-final. Do beg your pardon. Amanda Ballam, our umpire for this one. And Jesper Larsen. Of Denmark, the service judge, of course. Li Shuerei got injured in the semi final of the Olympic Games in Rio. And that was against the eventual gold medalist Carolina Marin. So there was no bronze medal playoff match. Now that is very much her tradition a deep bow before entering the court and then before play gets underway. She will give a a little bow to all four corners of the courts, to all the court officials, all the line judges, and everyone playing their part in this. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Li Shu Wei, China. On my left, Nozomi Okuhara, Japan. Oh. 
Least you way to serve. Another play. There's the little bow to all four corners of the court. A very respectful player is Nozomi Okuhara. So it's over. One love. Well, I have to say, it's lovely to see Li Shui Rei back in top flight badminton after such a horrendous injury. Ruptured her anterior cruciate ligament, which is the same injury so as has recently been One sustained ball. by another former champion of the All England, Carolina Marin. back five years. Oh, my goodness, that was great judgment. That was long by a whisker. Going back five years, Lu Shui Rei was head and shoulders above the rest of the opposition. She played ten tournaments in 2014 and reached ten finals. It's no wonder she was world number one for so long. Yeah, it's good skill. So it's over. Three, two. That's one of her favourite shots, the straight slice from around the head position, but that one way down the net. Okuhara, oh. who won the World Championship Three, in four. 2017 in Glasgow, one of the best badminton matches that final I think I've ever witnessed against Pusala Venkata Sindhu, an hour and 50 minutes of badminton of the very, very highest quality. Missed it. And Okuhara is one of the fastest players on the world tour and I wonder whether her speed and her racket skills and especially the speed might just be a little too much for Li Shui today. It'll be interesting to see and gauge how Li Shui has come back from her injury. Five, four. Good judgment. Rally. That's a great lift. Oh, magnificent. What a shot from Lee Schwere. Service over. Five all. Well, it's skills like this that uh, took her to the Olympic gold medal in London. Never won a world title, though. Li Shui twice beaten in the final of the World Championships. That was 2013 and 14. Oh, oh, it's just long. I was just about to say that was a lovely shot. Six, five. 
Oh, that line judge is very sharp this evening. Seven, five. Well, it's a run of three straight points now. long as well well I think Eight. Morton's analysis Five. of the drift oh crikey another perfect call Nine. don't need Hawkeye with that line judge Nine. around I tell you Backhand. Oh, magnificent. So this over. Six, eight. Well, of course, I was expecting Lee Shuere to have the bandage on her left knee. But I'm a little concerned to see heavy bandage on the thigh of Nozomi Okuhara. Seven, eight. Yeah, that's Lee Schwer eight. I expected that. There we go. Oh, that's very elaborate strapping, isn't it? Well, it's not often that Okuhara is outmaneuvered, so but she was on that occasion. Nine, seven. Yes. Wide. That's a lovely idea, so it's over. Eight, nine. Yes, yeah, very good early judgment from Okuhara. Nine, four. Just not the speed that there used to be in Li Shui-Rei's movement. Oh, that's understandable. Mm. Well, that was wild. So on a run of four straight points. It's a two-point advantage for the number two seed, Nozomi Okuhara. Play. So 
so she, can she continue this run of points four already uh, there's signs to me that there's some desperation shots from this lady Nishwere. Not really in position. Giving yourself no margin for error. Well, not only did Li Shuere win nine. this title in 2012, she was in the final once again two years after that in 2014 when she lost out to teammate Wang Shexian. Three times she's been the number one seed at the All England Championships. Well, the run of points comes to an end, but it had been six straight points. Which has, in fact, yes. put a slightly different complexion on this opening game. That's one of those shots Jones where I sort over. of feel that she's getting a little frustrated that 14, her opponent is so quick around the court and retrieving so much, like that one, that Lee Shuere feels that she's got to hit the perfect shot to actually win the rally. And in trying to hit the perfect shot, inevitably, you will make mistakes. Well judged. That was a good rally. Both players so this over. making their opponents 15, move to 13. the back, brought them forward, moved to the back again. And that's very, very good judgment. Shuere is bent so double over. physically. She's struggling. 14, 15.
Yeah, that's nicely done. 15 all. Perfect. Yeah. Okuhara read the drop shot. She took Six it early. Seven, Simple 16, block back to 15. the net, and Li Shui was left absolutely stranded. Oh, that's delightful. Those are the sort of skills that so took Li Shui to the All England title 16, seven years oh. ago and the Olympic gold seven years ago. this over 17 16 <laughs> Well, if you're a Li Shui fan, I think you'll be sensing that it's very, very important if she's going to come through this quarterfinal that she wins this opening game. And she's three points adrift right now. It's looking unlikely. Oh, but with shots like that, anything is possible. 17-19. Too late, it was going to drop in and so try to play an underarm shot, but it was too late, yes. mistimed it. 20 yeah. game point 17. She oh, that's just about perfection, she right. right in she the back right. corner. Here. So it's game point opportunities. Three of them, four knows of me. Do not squash the shuttle, okay. The shuttle. okay. Mm. Wow. Umpire Amanda Ballam spotting the leash where Ray seemed to be interfering with the shuttle. Yep, opening game. game. To Nozomi Okuhara First in the battle of the two Okuhara. former champions. Opening game 21-17 in 19 minutes.
防守反攻一样，接一接你的球，然后我再有机会打一拍，好吧？然后就没事，抓一下他们家的后场，如果是到了中路还在，等一下他们。说很到位，我就。哎对对对，他就是两边地板，啊、重复两边重复，你够长。稍微对，稍微高一点，节奏速度会慢一点。哎，对，太快了。你这就一直压他，一直平，一直平快，一直平快，所以你感觉一直反不过来。没事，再来啊！对，后场有机会，好好Always gives herself a little talking to before her deep bow. There we are, tactics sorted. I'm ready for battle. Second game, love all, play. For a shot of hers, that round the head straight slice has not been working so well for her today. Yeah, dragging it wide. So this over. Four titles last year for Li Shui Two of them Super 300 events, one Super 100 event. So this other two all. So this is a big step up as far as the level of tournament is concerned. But it's good to see her in her first quarter final of the year. Yeah, she's so really so not moving smoothly at three, all. Two. Each way right. that this match may race away from her. I think the fitness levels and the speed of Okuhara is beginning to take its toll. Yeah. Five, two. Yeah, not even close really to getting herself in position there. Landing in, yeah, did. What a great backhand from Okuhara. So it's over. Six three. Yeah, 
delightful. The skills are still there, especially when she's in position. On balance. Just caressing that across court. Seven, four. Yeah. The push Seven, over the four. head of Li Shui Rei. Eight, four. What's the error? behind her when she took that one. Oh. So it's over. Five, eight. Oh. Desperately trying to think of what Li Shuere should be doing tactically, but I'm really not convinced she's got the physicality and the movement to implement the tactics, whatever the tactics would be. So to the mid-game interval. The number two seed, Nozomi Okuhara, with a six-point advantage here in the second game, having already taken the first. Choi Sang Bum, the coach there. And the other coach talking to her now is Shoji Sato. She's done remarkably well, you know, after a, a ruptured ACL to come back to top flight badminton. But I fear that playing against a player that has such 11, quick movement and such Five. retrieving capabilities, I think it may be a step too far. Just to prove the retrieving capabilities. Yeah. Well, against most other players, she would have won that rally about six Seven, shots ago. Six, eleven. gets behind the shuttle. Those skills still haven't left her. Still very much in evidence. Oh, yes. Well, nothing would please me more than for Li Shui Rei to prove me wrong and that she is capable of beating a player of 
the speed and retrieving capabilities of her opponent. Laura Egang. And the uh, women's singles coach. Yeah. yeah. That's what we are so used to seeing from the round the head position 12, from eight. Okuhara. players very very good rally yes pity it ended on an error but the skills early on so this over absolutely superb Nine, 12. longest rally of the match so far 26 shots and that really does prove my point i think that leash where ray doesn't want to play long rallies starts going for winners rather than long grueling rallies and it's either brilliant or it's a mistake Good rally. So it's so over thirteen nine. No, on court. Well, physically, Leish where Ray is hurting, gasping for oh. air, apart from her laboured movement at times. Service error. Service over. 10 13. I think that might be the first service error of the match. Indeed, it is. Yeah, that's. Now look at her. Look at her bent double. Service she, over. It's not just 14, the lack of movement. 10. The lungs are burning. Stamina is being tested. She won't have played at this sort of intensity for a while. Some of the level of tournaments that she was playing last year. So this over, 11-14. Oh, there's a challenge here. Nozomi Okuhara challenges. First challenge of this quarterfinal. Well, that line judge at the back of the court has got absolutely everything right so far. Done a wonderful job. is correct again. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 12-14. Play. Service over. 12. Well, Lushwe Ray in her first round match did come back from 12 20 down before winning that second game. So she's capable of a big comeback. Yeah, 
it's gone long. Yeah. 16 and 12. 17, 12. Yeah, that to me is a real sign of her fatigue. Rule number one, make your opponent play the shuttle. Especially on the return of serve. There's another one goes wide. Yeah. It's just not 18, used to this pace 12. of match. Leash were eight, still a lot of hard. Three years ago it was when she won the title here on her 21st birthday. That's uh, Lee Chouere. Sadly looking a shadow of her former self. So their confirmation, 21-17, 21-14 in a match lasting 37 minutes. Uh, she's absolutely delighted with that. Okuhara, and so she should be. So through to the semi-final once more. It'll be her second semi-final in two weeks, because last week she was in the semi-final in Germany. Tomorrow, here in Birmingham.